Hi there, welcome back to Cory Paper Crafts. It's Karen here, independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in central Scotland. Just another quick project to showcase um, two of the celebration products given that we're into the last couple of days of celebration for this year now. Um, the Flowering Foils DSP, which you have seen if you've watched a previous video, you'll have seen me using um, different sheets from this. It's a, a specialty DSP that was in the second release of celebration products this year and it is free the pack of dsp 12 by 12 sheets is free with a 45 pound spend and the stamps and um have come from the tags in bloom stamp set it's a photopolymer stamp set um really nice stamps very detailed and uh, i've used these two stamps here these are actually two separate stamps so if you've been looking at these products um and swithering whether or not to get them i would say get your order in because in the last couple of days things really do start to disappear very very quickly so i've cut a piece of designer series paper and backed it just loosely i've not stuck it down onto a piece of thick whisper white cardstock and I've topped it with um, a piece of gold uh, ribbon. So I'm going to show you how I made it. It's another quick and easy project, doesn't take long and doesn't use a lot of product either. So to make it, you'll need a piece of um, thick whisper white cardstock which measures seven inches by two inches and the same again for your chosen piece of DSP as well. And all I did was I used our... Um, detailed oh gosh what's the name of this tag topper it's the newer one of the two that we still have um i can't remember now that's awful but it is one of our two tag topper punches <laughs> oh dear Carol. and i just popped my card in made sure that it was up and straight at the top of my punch and being very careful I punched it out. Um, these can be quite springy so just be careful if you do that because it's not the first time I've caught my hand in here and it can be a bit painful. So the same again with my DSP, just popping that in and it seems to be sticking for some reason, I'm not sure why. Just double check that it's up to the top in here and just pop that out. Now you do get these little pieces of paper and card that cut out at a decent size if you want to keep them to make bits of confetti or something for another project then just pop them in a tub so that's my punching done for the top of my bookmarks and now they're just going to layer one on top of the other like this but i used my trio punch as well just to round the corners on the bottom so one corner there one corner there and the same again for my DSP there we are and then I just joined those together with a piece of our shimmer um, gold ribbon and it's quarter of an inch thick so I cut a length of ribbon it's not measured exactly, just however long you want the tails on your bookmark to be. That's maybe a little bit long, but never mind. Oops. And all I did was I popped them through from the back to the front. Pulled them through the loop like that, tightened it up a bit and then just cut tails to the length I want. Um, that's maybe still a bit on the long side so I'll just trim that a little bit but it doesn't really matter. And then all I need to do is a bit of stamping. Um, I did use some heat embossing for this. It's uh, not as straight as I would have liked it because the Versamark ink is really hard to see when you're lining up the stamps so you might see a bit of my head. <laughs> Um, when I do my stamping for this. So I just need another piece of Thick Whisper White and just give that a rub with my embossing buddy just to get any dirt and fingerprints and static off of there. 
used my Versamark ink and I actually stamped the surround first. There we are. Oh, and I've got some bit of fluff. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that catching the light, but I can. And then I came along then with my Just For You and I'm thinking that if I stand up I can probably see enough to get that hopefully quite central. Mm, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Um, it could be over a little bit more but I'm, I'm okay with that. And then I'm just going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and my gold embossing powder and pour that over. Just take off the excess and just get rid of any extra bits that I don't that I don't want. Um, shouldn't have blown that because I've just blown powder across the desk. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I think I've got an extra couple of bits of powder here where I really really don't want them but just there we are that's not too bad I don't have my little brush beside me I normally have a little brush just to take off these extra bits um, but it's not right beside me at the moment that'll do so before I do anything else I'm just going to get this powder back in the tub. What a mess. I'll tidy the rest of that up later because I really have made a mess. Never mind. And I'm going to switch my heat gun on and I do have it plugged in this time. I'm quite famous for not plugging it in before I try and switch it on but it is switched on today so it's going to get a little bit loud. If you want to turn the volume down then I would do it that just now. And I'm just going to let it heat up a bit before I actually bring it to my embossing powder so that it's hot when I start. And then I'm just going to hover it over my powder until it starts to melt and you should see it starting to go now. Getting a little bit hot on my fingers so I'm going to turn it round a bit. And just make sure that that's all completely melted. There we are. Pop that back to the side. I do have a couple of extra bits on there but that's okay. And then I punched that out using the um, Label Me Pretty Punch I think this is called because uh, I think I called it Label Me Lovely the other day but that's... Um, the punch that actually matches this shape here but I think in another video a few days ago I actually called this the label me lovely but this is label me pretty so I just came along and popped that in to the punch I need to just chop a little bit off I keep forgetting that this punch comes in from the side And just make sure that I line that up and just take hold without punching till I make sure that I'm happy with either side here and top and bottom here and that these little shoulders are in the spaces that I want them to be in and I'm quite happy with that. So just punch that out. And then I popped some tear and tape on the back of here because I want that to stay quite flat because it's going inside a book. So I popped a little bit of tear and tape along the middle just like that and it helps to hold it down as well. And a piece top and bottom just to make sure that all the edges have got uh, something to hold them quite secure. Last bit just on there. Did you notice that I uh, didn't use my ruler? I actually just used my fingers, that's not like me. <laughs> um, and then just take the backing tape off. And pop it wherever you like on your bookmark. Get 
rid of all the powder because it really is everywhere. What a mess. Um, and I don't know whether to put it in the middle or at the bottom. No, I think I still prefer it in the middle. But before I just let it go and press it down completely, I just want to make sure it's straight and lined up either side. There we are. And that's it. Gosh, what a mess. I really am going to have to uh, wash my desk now. So that's it for this project here. Very quick and easy. I hope you like it. Um, and now I can actually read two books. There you go. I'll probably give one away. Um, I'm not sure who to, but I'll give it to somebody. So thanks again for watching. As I say, if you want any of the celebration products that are still available, then I would be quick because they're not going to hang around over the next couple of days. So if you've got your eye on something, then get your order in if you can. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.